Now, what's happening here is it's a final boss. Multiple forms, of course. So what happens here is he changes form and we get the first generation. And from the first generation, we get uh, some new animation here. And a new area. We're no longer in special, so we lose that boost, which is why I wanted to get her uh, dragon summon out of the way quickly. So yeah, the dragon ball is not recommended for a single target, obviously. And I'm just going to stick with this normal attack for the most part. Oops, I knew I screwed that up gotten a bad rhythm. Still did a decent amount of damage because he still has power down effects on, which very helpful. Now the reason why I don't use Rose Storm now is because he's not really attacking a lot. And this is I was kind of referencing this earlier. For whatever reason, if you use slowdown on him, he doesn't really do anything. He hits you a couple of times and that's it. It's kind of weird how little he hits you. As you can see, I've been beating away on him. He hasn't done much. Yeah, and unfortunately, we lost the power-up from her... What is it? Um, from her special, because we're no longer under special. So, let's see if I can do a little better here with... Uh... Nope. Well, a little better, I guess. But not much. There we go. Do some more damage. Yeah, Dart, like I said, that's why I gave him the bandit shoes, so he could do a little more damage. Meru's not going to be able to do great, especially with the pretty hammer, but... Might as well at least do her addition instead of doing nothing for it. I do want to take him down as quickly as I can. So, and there, there is a reason for that. He does have some really annoying attacks late into the battle. I'm not sure if he can use them earlier on in the fight or not, but he doesn't tend to with me. This is pretty much what I deal with the majority of times I fight him, whether I'm using uh, Dragoon form or not. Dragoon form is definitely helpful in this fight because it does reduce damage by quite a bit, and that in itself is helpful. Considering the fact that Dart will probably do more damage outside of Dragoon form, uh, probably better to be out of Dragoon form for that, but the protection is nice. Figures, I'm getting perfect on everyone but Dart, and Dart's the one doing most of the damage. Sad. Yippee! God, she's so energetic. Anyway, so her dragon form ends, which means she should be able to get her turn shortly to... Uh... Oh, watch is beeping. Shut up. Now we get the second generation. Now, as you can kind of notice, the music has changed again. And we get some nice kind of build up. And then we'll get a slightly different song. And, of course, a new background as well. Now, sometimes, as you're fighting the guy, you'll skip over one generation, like we have here, and go straight to the next one. It'll show the animation, but you won't actually fight a different form at each one. There's, I think, three or four kind of different-looking forms here. And he would normally change more often, but it has to wait until he gets a turn, which, with slowdown, for some reason, it kills his speed so much. So, here we get water. Huh. Some cool animation. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to fast forward. Where's boss? Hmm? And here I think we get the fourth generation. Yes? No? There we go. I like this theme. And here in the fourth generation, we get... What in the hell is that? 
Okay. If you say so. Now, the way they do this with the generation thing, and the fact that we're fighting a god is, I believe, a biblical reference there. There is a, I think, seven generations total. You know, on the seventh day, God created life, blah, blah. I don't, I don't know. I really don't. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but uh, I am atheist. And Though I did read the Bible when I was younger, uh, parents had... Uh, uh, I want to use normal attack to get SP back. Parents were kind of religious. My, my dad actually grew up in a Catholic house. And I can't remember, it was another form of Christianity my mom grew up with. And she changed her religion to uh, Catholic to appease my grandmother on my, on my father's side. Which was, you know, it is what it is. My grandmother's quite religious. And, uh, oops. But it was, uh, it was interesting because they gave me the option of whether to, you know, choose to follow religion or not, instead of just kind of forcing it on me, so I have a great deal of respect to them both for that, and it uh, definitely helped shape my, uh, damn, my uh, beliefs and all that, so anyway, final turn in Dragoon form, one to use Rose Storm, he has summoned some weird creatures, I'm going to fast forward to that. And these little creatures, I think, have 12 to 1500 HP. And I wanted to do more damage to them, but unfortunately, I normally I get to use darts last turn to use Divine Dragon Ball on them, which I would have preferred to do. But um, unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. Um, I'm just going to attack one of these. I don't know if they prevent you from attacking the uh, main guy there or not, but. But yeah, with uh, the, uh, what is that, the pretty hammer, yeah, I think it blows up and does some damage, which I'm not worried about. But uh, yeah, the, the point is I want to get her up there as far as um, uh, Dragoon levels. And the other thing I want to do is I want to use a Moon Serenade to give everybody some more MP, specifically though Meru, so that she can deal some more damage. And that's, I think, the first or second time that I've actually used an MP healing item in this playthrough. Which I guess is kind of sad, but... What are you doing? He's finally starting to attack in this form, which is kind of weird. Also going to be using a... Um, a healing rain in this fight as well. I actually used a healing breeze off screen after the uh, Zeke fight so that I could heal up. Now, okay, so let's go with you and build up your turns again. Oops. Oh, thought I screwed up for a second. So now you're full, and I want to use healing rain here. I won't be able to go into special, but I will be able to go into Dragoon form to at least have her deal some more damage. Now, this healing may or may not be unnecessary. Um, yeah, she can go straight into Dragoon form there. I was thinking about using a speed up, but I can use another character to do that. I want to get her a whole bunch of turns to hit him, and I'll also be using more MP healing items to uh, heal up her MP even more so. Wow, that's a long animation. <laughs> way faster there, way longer than Final Burst. Yeah, see, not so much when you don't have the field effect and you don't have the, uh, oh, what is it, the, the power up and the power down going for you, but it does more than uh, her regular one. See, now what he's done here is he's changed from night to day, which I think indicates what type of attacks he's able to do. But I don't really know if what it changes. Now, one thing to note is this boss... Oops. This boss can confuse all party members at once. So that's something you may want to watch out for. Blossom Storm. 
But yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a fast way of beating this boss like I did with most of the other bosses in the game. But uh, for the most part, I've got a set idea about what I should be doing as far as attacks goes. Oops, I uh, fast forwarded through the damage a little bit. I think it was almost 700, just under. Anyway, let's go and attack him and hopefully not screw up my addition this time. Yeah, Dart, I think, is the only character at these levels who can deal a thousand damage to him with a normal attack without any buffs or debuffs. Uh, let's see here. I want to use a Moon Serenade. Again, I'm not worried about losing out on items. Uh, this is unnecessary. You don't have to go this far to, uh, you know, set up Meru to deal lots of damage. It's it's overkill, but I want to be able to kill him as fast as I can, and I can fast forward through these animations. Most of them, anyway. So, how much HP does this guy have left? Oh, fifth generation. And here we start to see life in the sea. Now you can kind of see where I was going with that uh, biblical reference earlier. As you can see, we have life. <laughs> Here's where it really starts to become a great biblical reference as opposed to before when it just, okay, generations, okay, I'm confused, okay, sure. Now it makes sense. But the animation they use here is pretty cool. I definitely uh, like the way they have this set up. It doesn't make a lick of sense, but uh, it is what it is. And here we have man and dragons and cool music. Well, those are some cool drawings, anyway. Excuse the silence. I've been recording for half an hour. Time for a water break. <laughs> There's lots of draw carvings of bones or drawings of skeletons and weird shit. Really, really weird. However, oh, our ground is now made out of bones. And we have the final form, where he can use most of his really devastating attacks as well as do quite a bit more damage and specifically use the confusion ability that I mentioned before. So let's uh, see if we can finish this guy off. As you can see, his, uh, his HP is still in the yellow. Though that shouldn't last too much longer. Yeah, see, one attack and he's in the red. Nice. Just keep wailing away on him. There's not really much to do with this fight. Uh, eh, I'll let her use Freezing Ring for the final two attacks, and then I'll redo her MP if I need to. Her magical attacks definitely do more than her, uh, her physical ones, even in Dragoon form or out. There we go. Now, he does have an instant death attack in this form as well, so that's something to be aware of. Definitely bring uh, Angel Prayers into this fight, if I haven't mentioned that, which I don't think I have. And Freeze the Ring. Gotta love the drum beat on this. Oh, I just love this track. So much fun really kind of gives you that sense of urgency, that sense that the weight of the world is on your shoulders, and if you fail, shit's not gonna be good, son. That was horrible. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh well. 
That's exactly what the uh, Let's Plays are for me. A place to go and just screw around. Have a lot of fun with it. Ow. Yeah, look at that. He finally did some decent damage to me. Now, Meru can do more damage than that using the attack items I have left, but not really necessary. Um, I am going to use a speed up on her, though. Hopefully I can get her back into a Dragoon form, if it's needed, before I kill this guy. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be needed, but, uh, oops. Will be if I keep screwing up additions. can't believe the only addition I screwed up in this final fight is darts, and his is probably the easiest of all the final additions. Okay. Don't. No! This is the trigger for the boss initiating his final um, attack, or, you know, triggering the end of the boss fight, but it glitched up. This is not the emulator, this is the game. The game glitches up on the ending a lot, which is really annoying. <sighs> However, I do have a save state from a previous playthrough at the end of the boss fight, so I'll just go and queue that up and I'll show you the ending from there. Okay, so we're back, and uh, yeah, this party, as you can see, is the same party, but uh, someone got confused there, and should only need one more attack to finish this guy off, if I recall correctly. And, as far as I remember, this file always worked from this save state. It initiated, there we go. As soon as you beat the guy, it initiates this sequence, where Dart becomes a Divine Dragoon. And we'll watch the, uh, the action go. Well, there's a good view of what his, uh, this Divine Dragoon form looks like, if you were wondering. Didn't really get a good view of it earlier. There we go. That is the final boss.